Now to fake heiress. She went by the name Anna Delvey, the daughter of a fictitious German billionaire, and she spent years living the high life in New York City. But the wannabe socialite, whose real name is Anna Sorokin, was allegedly swindling her way through society and duping banks, hotels, and a friend out of hundreds of thousands of dollars, that is, until investigators began to close in. She went from it girl to inmate at New York's infamous Rikers Island. To the world, Anna Delvey's life appeared to be a series of socialite parties, international trips, and shopping sprees. But in reality, the German billionaire heiress, who was once known to tip in $100 bills, was just a fake persona created by Anna Sorokin, the Russian daughter of a truck driver. Anna, who interned at a trendy French magazine, reportedly managed to scam extended stays in swanky Manhattan hotels, dinner at high-end restaurants, and flights on chartered jets. To finance her lavish lifestyle and keep the grift going, she allegedly built banks out of thousands in cash. And that's not all. The fake heiress reportedly fleeced her friend out of $62,000 for a world-class trip to Morocco. But Anna went too far when she attempted to take out a loan for $22 million to finance a visual arts center she called the Anna Delvey Foundation. In all, Anna reportedly scammed a total of $275,000. Anna's double life began to crumble as hotels went after her unpaid debts and banks began to investigate her alleged assets. In 2017, police found Anna reportedly hiding out at a Malibu treatment center. She was taken into custody and is facing grand larceny charges. And joining us now to discuss the case is criminal defense attorney Sarah Azari. And Sarah, what do we know about the alleged scammer Anna Sorokin's true identity? Wait, Jesse, Anna who? <laughs> I mean, there is no Anna Delvey. There is no a German heiress. There is no foundation. Anna Sorokin was born in Russia. She grew up in Germany. Her dad is a truck driver. You know, according to an interview with her father, he, he, they're completely shocked that she was involved in this fraud because apparently they've been scammed too. And of course, Anna was offered a plea deal that could have seen her released, possibly even within a year, but she rejected it. So what can she expect when she finally goes to trial? Right, Jesse, so there's a lot of compelling evidence against her. And guess what, Jesse? If she's found guilty by the jury, she's facing up to 15 years in prison. And Jesse, you know, one thing that hasn't been really talked about much, but I think is very important here, she was tracked down at a residential drug treatment center. So I anticipate that if Anna were to be found guilty at the end of this trial, her mental health might be an issue to try to mitigate the sentence that she gets. Well, Sarah, thank you for sharing your insights on this unbelievable story.